There's an old joke, popular among Silicon Valley techies. It's about, the gender of Google. Is Google really, a boy, or a girl? Well, if a guy uses, this world famous brand name, in his pickup line, to impress a girl, then he would say the following. Is your name Google? Because you have, everything I have been searching for. Ha ha ha. Nice pickup line. Well, jokes apart, a recent study published, in the Journal of Marketing, clearly suggests, that brands selling certain types of products, should try opting for feminine sounding names. Why? Because feminine sounding brand names, are likely to be perceived, as warmer than their masculine sounding counterparts. So exactly how do you choose, a linguistically feminine brand name? Well, it's relatively straightforward. Just opt for a name, that ends with a vowel, or at least sounds as if it is ending, with a vowel. For example, Nestle, YouTube, or Pepsi. But here's a word of caution. If you try choosing a feminine sounding brand name, for a product, that is exclusively targeted towards men, then you may get mixed results. For example, if you try selling men's boxers, with the name Sophia, 50% of your male clients, may run away from your product, thinking that it is a product, exclusively meant for women. According to the published research paper, linguistically feminine names, also tend to be longer, they have more syllables, and when people pronounce them, they put special emphasis, on the second or later syllable. The research team also found, that products that are strictly functional in nature, let's say, vacuum cleaners for example, can still make profits, even after adopting, masculine sounding brand names. In summary, if you are a marketing professional, working at a chocolate company, make sure your chocolate bar, gets a feminine sounding name, but if you are trying to sell a trash can, try to choose, a masculine sounding name.